Well, I have never seen a winch quite so bad as these. <clears throat> so there's a, a derelict old boat at, at uh, my marina that they're going to scrap. And I asked if I could have the winches off of it, or at least a couple of the winches, including these Barlow 27s, I think they are. Um, the boat's probably 35 years old. Don't know how old these winches are, but boy, they have not been serviced in forever. They've sat outside for a very long time, and uh, I'm going to try to bring them back to life. They're very heavy-duty, two-speed winches. Um, if they fit on, on my boat, I'd love to use them there, uh, if I can bring them back to life. Um, so this, is, this will be the saga of the Barlow 27 refurbishment. So this is what the, the Barlow 27s look like when I first took them off of the boat. As you can see, their, their surface of the drum is highly corroded. Um, the drums themselves were frozen onto the, to the uh, main shaft. Uh, it took a while to get them apart. When I got them apart, all three of them, uh, the main bearings were stuck up inside the drum. Kind of like that. Uh, they were seized in there pretty good. Couldn't get them out. Uh, liberal spraying with WD-40 and moving them around a bit, I finally got them to, to move. But they are still really, really sticky and bad. The gears, <clears throat> the gearbox on these, uh, boy, it's really, really old. Uh, I did turn them, and, and they do move, so I think they can be rehabilitated. Uh, oddly enough, or thankfully, I guess, the, uh, the shaft and all that does not seem to be at all pitted or scored or anything else. So uh, I think a really thorough cleaning will get us where we need to be with these. And... Um, I think the surface will be a challenge. They won't look nearly as good as new, but um, I think we can get them back a little bit. This uh, Barlow, I think it's a 23 maybe, single speed, uh, was also taken off that boat, and the drum looked about as bad as, as these guys, uh, but a little steel wool, a little polishing with a wire brush has uh, brought them back a little bit um, I think they still have work to do on that maybe uh, you know maybe some metal polishing compound or something to help bring back some of the shine uh, and I think the same thing <clears throat> will happen with these I, I think so we shall see the next step in the disassembly process is to get the gearbox separated from the base so there are three cap screws that uh, that hold the gearbox down over the base. Um, in my case, those are very very old and crusty, uh, but with a pretty pretty long um, um, Allen Allen wrench, I was able to break them loose. So I'm going to take the cap screws out and then slowly disassemble that gearbox. All right, so I've taken all the cap screws, three cap screws, out of the uh, the uh, gearbox uh, housing, and now I'm ready to lift off uh, the gearbox. So the whole thing actually comes off all in one piece. That's kind of interesting. And then there are more set screws underneath that will allow us to disassemble this. You might also see that there's a cotter pin in one of these uh, pins that'll have to come out as well, um, which is something I've never seen on a on a Barlow winch before. But that looks like our our next step in the disassembly process. So the cap screws that hold the uh, gearbox down on the on the base takes a quarter quarter inch. Uh, hex wrench and these 
uh, are a little bit smaller. These are uh, 730 seconds, it appears. So let's take these out and see what else comes apart. I only see two of these, and then there's that, whatever. Not sure what's going to happen there. I read a blog post not too long ago. Some guy was uh, some guy had taken some old winches that were on his boat and upgraded to some of the newest, latest, and greatest of similar size. And uh, he was extremely disappointed. Oh, there's another one. There's a third uh, screw cap screw up here. He was extremely disappointed in the. I guess the build quality of the newer winches and I'm not going to say what brand they were because I don't really remember but um, you know and he just thought that the original winches were so much better quality than the than the brand new ones that he put on his boat and he actually um, went back to the originals All right, so there I've lifted off um, the main shaft. A lot of things to take apart here, so let me um, let me uh, do a few tidying up things and take a few photographs. <laughs> we want to make sure we can put it back together correctly, and I'll be back. All right, so. Um, I had, had been soaking the uh, main bearings, there's three of those, and I was soaking them in a little bit of uh, mineral spirits to clean them. So I've gotten those uh, out of the mineral spirits bath. And um, the next thing we can remove is this main shaft. And importantly, there is another bearing up here, a gold bearing, which I'm going to slip off and put in my bath. Um, this looks to be one solid one solid piece which I'll get cleaned up here shortly. There's nothing else in this big housing here. Everything else is all one solid piece it appears and I can get that cleaned up. Uh, oh there's a second bearing and I don't know exactly where that one came from but we'll throw it in the in the soup too might have been on that shaft I think there were two a top and a bottom and then what's left are all the gears and presumably some pawls I haven't run across them yet but I'm sure we will um, so this is a two-piece gear so I bet you if we open that up yep there's some pawls in there Boy, look at the heavy grease in there. It's amazing this thing worked at all. Those are... Um, I'm going to have to figure out a way to keep all these parts together. Here's another one. And they're not identical, so we'll have to kind of keep track. I do have the uh, service manual for this winch, so I should be able to piece it all back together. And then lastly, I mentioned there was a cotter, cotter key in one of these pins, and, the, and that's holding this last uh, bearing on, or this last gear on. So I'll have to take that off. And then we're going to uh, soak all the parts, get a toothbrush, and clean them. Um, there's actually, as I look at it, there's a little bearing inside this this gear and it looks like there's one below it as well so we're going to have to be careful taking that one apart I did not see that there isn't any bearings in this this gear set here Pauls, but um, but no bearing so I'm going to have to get those out of there and get those cleaned up as well um, so we'll be back in a few minutes. 
and after I removed the cotter, uh, the cotter pin from uh, the bottom of this base and pulled this gear off, there was yet one more green bearing inside this uh, gear. So there were three of those, I think, total. So that's the uh, that's the extent of the bearings. They're all soaking in my uh, mineral spirits. Uh, I'm going to run and get a toothbrush. And then we'll start uh, cleaning the gears and the pawls in particular. Those are going to need some work. Uh, we'll let those bearings set for a few minutes, and then we'll be uh, we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Well, after a little bit of cleanup, um, things like the uh, the main shaft look look very good. I don't see any pitting or scoring or anything wrong. Uh, wrong with the main shaft. I've been uh, working on some of the some of the, wheel, uh, the gears now and just it's amazing when you get them cleaned up they actually I mean they clean up fairly well I still got a little cleaning up to do here but um, I mean that that's remarkably good condition considering these winches have not seen any type of maintenance or TLC for God knows how long 10 years at, at, at the least uh, and, and potentially a lot more than that. So uh, slowly but surely these are coming apart and, um, and we're getting things clean. The main shaft looks okay or the main whatever you call this part uh, looks okay. A little bit of discoloration right up at the very top. That's where it was probably got water in there. Um, or that top bearing sat. I'm not sure which. I'll have to do a little cleaning up there. Um, but all in all, the process is going well, and uh, you know, believe it or not, I'll, I'll be able to do some um, reassembly before too long. I, I think um, the worst part now is just getting these bearing or these gears clean. They are they have not seen any love in quite a long time. Um, so trying to do that without splattering myself completely with this nasty stuff is is the trick. Um, but I'll just continue working away at this at this winch and see if I can get all the, the gears cleaned up. Um, and then when it's time to reassemble, uh, I'll bring you back if I find anything else and interesting or unusual to share with you. I'll certainly get us back uh, get us back but uh, the little the little bearings all you know got cleaned up very well um, I will tell you that particularly these gold ones um, they were a little bit separated um, so if you look carefully you'll see that the, the the body is actually in two pieces and they're they're plastic and then the little the little bearings are you know captive inside those two halves of the plastic housing. If you were to pull this apart, all the little bearings would fall out, and you'd have a little bit of a mess on your hands putting it back together. Um, so you want to be careful that you don't um, don't allow the thing to come apart. And in my case, there was a small gap all the way around. I was just able to pinch them pinch them back together. Both of the gold ones were in that condition for some reason, um, so they're they're all ready to, to go and be packed with grease and get reassembled. So uh, nothing nothing wrong with them as far as I can tell. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep working on these gears and trying to get them cleaned up. Uh, basically soaking them in a little bit of mineral spirits, hitting them with a toothbrush. If there's any real stubborn, you know, real stubborn gunk in here uh, just running a, a, a straight blade screwdriver in there sometimes we'll get it a little bit broken up and then the toothbrush will, will get it get it back out um, there is a little bit of something on these teeth I'm gonna have to take a look at that a little closer a little bit of wear or something on these teeth I'm not sure what that is or what it's from or where that what that comes in contact with yet but I'll, I'll be looking at that a little more carefully don't know if there's much you could do about it you know I don't think these this winch company I'm not so sure they're even in, in business anymore uh, they've been bought or sold I'm sure um, I want to say Bariant maybe owns them but I'm not even sure of that 
So um, we'll keep going and check in with you in a little bit. All right, so um, we've got most of the most of the parts cleaned, uh, at least preliminarily cleaned. Um, still got to do the inside of the drum. It's very sticky in there. The bearings were kind of stuck in there, so I'm going to clean that really well. Um, a little bit more on the base, particularly the underneath side needs to be clean. But the gears have come, you know, I think uh, fairly clean. Uh, all the pawls appear to be in in good shape and not excessively worn. Um, a big pile of bearings and gears to reassemble. Um, just a, a, a tip. So I don't know for sure if all of the pawls are the same size. There's two sets. Uh, and I took one set apart and they're inside this bowl with the you know with the gear that they go in. And then I was taking this one apart and then I started to throw them in the bowl and I wasn't sure if maybe there are different sizes. Uh, and so rather than throw them in the bowl and have to figure it out later, I, uh, I just set them aside with the gear that they go back into. Um, and what I'll do um, as soon as I clean out the, the drum, I think, is I'm going to do a dry assembly just to make sure I know how it goes back together. And uh, um, I'll put the I'll put the pawls in the gears that they go in and all that jazz. Uh, I'm not going to oil and grease everything yet. I just want to do a dry fit and see how things go together. So we'll be back with a little bit more shortly. Okay, so we're just doing a little bit of a, a dry fit here to kind of see how how things are working and if I remember how to put everything together. Um, so we've got um, several of the gears and pawls put together. Uh, you can hear that nice click. That's what we want to hear. Um, this one here, I actually found a broken spring, so one of the pawls isn't working. I got to got to get a new spring for that. Um, I've already put the uh, very bottom gear on with the pin that has the uh, cotter, cotter key in it. Right now I'm leaving it loose because I'm still going to be cleaning and doing a little bit more work on it. But um, one thing to note when you're trying to put this together, um, that, that cotter or that that uh, pin actually extends beyond the bottom of this plate and so when you're trying to put this thing together you really got to get that pin bottomed out otherwise the next gear doesn't fit right um, but we've got that we put this pin in place here and the gear with the green bearings goes next Oops. Um, It should be just enough to engage um, with this gear. And then this uh, gear assembly goes upside down, I believe. And there's nothing to hold it in place until you put this main shaft in. So you can see I put the gold bearings on. They're not greased yet. It's just kind of hold, hold it there. There's a spline on... Uh, one end of the post and a and a pin end, right? So that goes down through this splined gear. And then into the there, just clicked in. So that's really all the gearbox is, right? So if I put the I put the top of the gearbox back on, it holds everything together. And the gear works. It says a two-speed gear, so it ought to go in both directions. I don't know if it'll do it when it's all apart and I'm holding things together, but um, yeah, it does. All right. So at least for now, the 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 gears are pretty clean. Nothing's been lubricated yet. Uh, and it's a little bit goofy because that pin isn't in the proper spot and it has to be mounted on the the base so that that 
pin sits down all the way otherwise it interferes with this gear right here so uh anyway it's getting close and uh you know the 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 cleaning and the and the servicing of the winch is the easy part trying to clean this drum is going to be the the real challenge i'm sure but um anyway we're making some progress and um i think i will put this assembly together uh get it greased up and uh and, and we'll be ready for final assembly all right so i have uh replaced the spring in this paw um I've got everything pretty well cleaned up. I've put a little bit of machine oil on the paws themselves. And now I'm ready to start <clears throat> packing bearings and getting all of the everything greased up. So I'm using an extra heavy duty axle grease that's made for trailers and things like that to get wet. <clears throat> I couldn't get the uh, couldn't get the stuff directly for winches, but I don't. I think it's kind of overkill anyway. So, so I'm just gonna pack these bearings with some grease. <clears throat> so these are the little green ones that go in one of the one of the gears. <clears throat> want too much in that one because um, <clears throat> I'm gonna wipe off a little bit of the excess because this set of pawls actually goes over the outside of that so we don't want to get a lot of extra grease in there all right <clears throat> so there's that one um, Next, we've got these gold bearings that are on the main shaft. So, I'm going to take those off. Pack those with some grease. Imagine we'll lose a lot when it slides over this pretty tight fitting collar there. Okay. Next we've got the three big bearings, the main bearings. <clears throat> Just gonna get those all packed up good. Inside and out. These were very, very sticky when I disassembled the winch. Um, they had not been serviced in quite a long time. <clears throat> but I do find it quite impressive that, <clears throat> you know, after these things have sat out in the elements for at least 10 years, and I really don't know when they were serviced before that, that they're still, I mean, the, the, winch parts themselves are in very good condition. The only thing that's really suffered a, you know, something bad is the uh, finish on the drum. And I'm still not sure what, we'll catch what I'm gonna do with that yet, but I'm gonna, gonna think about it. <clears throat> All right, before I go much further here, I think I'm going to put this cotter key in the bottom Because once we're done and I start to assemble things, I don't want to have to mess with this later. Of course, it's a little fiddly now that I've popped it apart.
if I can't get it in, I guess I'll have to get a new one. It's a really tight, uh, tight hole there. All right, well, that was a little fiddly, but I, I did get it. Put it on the... Uh, Put it on my vise and got it straightened out a little bit. Get a little bit of grease down in there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now to reassemble again. So this big, this big wheel and pin. I'm gonna slap a little grease on there. goes upside down nope I guess it goes right side, the big side down sorry <clears throat> and then this guy he goes, put a little grease on here, he goes upside down, engages with both of these, and then this big spline thing goes down through the center. And you'll feel it locked down in the bottom. Then we're ready to put the top of the gearbox on. So there's uh, one, two, three. It's over the I guess you gotta take this out. <clears throat> take your box over the top. And the one thing I see is that There's a um, a cap screw that goes in here on the corner, which must be this one because it's the only odd size. But it goes up from the bottom, so they make this kind of tricky. Looks like we have. One, it goes in, I should have marked these damn screws now. Because I don't remember how it came apart, hold on. Okay, well I figured it out. I forgot. You have to invert this thing, this whole gearbox assembly and all that. You invert it and there are three cap screws on the bottom. One short and goes in this, uh, um, you know, the spot where it's a real short run and then you got two others that uh, screw into the, the gearbox. <clears throat> And hold everything together. So inversion is the key. <clears throat> I could have waited to put the uh, main bearings on because if you can see them they're kind of slipping off the 
thing there, but that's okay. No harm. All right, so now with that all in place, we put the main shaft back in carefully. Got to get it to seat all the way down in there, like that. Uh, and then we're ready to put the drum on. And we can, if we want, we can put the bass on. I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit, uh, I think. But let's just see. So that sounds pretty good to me. It's, uh, it's working like it's supposed to. I think all is good. Yeah. So. My next steps are going to be to uh, my next steps are going to be to figure out how to polish that drum and see if we can salvage it. A um, few little things to do still. The the um, stripper ring is pretty bad. I mean, just cosmetically, um, and getting that drum polished. But I think it'll get better. So this one is a uh, Lumar, or I'm sorry, a, a Bar Variant or Barlow 23, I believe. It's a single speed. Uh, this drum looked just about as bad as, if not as bad, I would say, as the um, as the big one. And all I did with it so far is rub it with some steel wool and hit it with a uh, steel wire cup brush a little bit. Um, and it's certainly not perfect, but I mean, it. I would put it on my boat probably if, uh, you know, if worse came to worse. So I'm hoping I can do the same thing with these big ones. Uh, I also have to see if they will fit on my boat. So... Um, on my primaries are in a kind of a recess thing on the combing and uh, I, I hope I hope the recessed area is big enough to accommodate an 8 inch drum that's about what it is at the base uh, 8 inch in diameter so um, I'll have to do that as well but you know I'm really impressed with the quality and the cleanup of these things was not that bad and uh, I, I'm going to leave the drum off while I try to polish it. I'm going to put this away so I don't get a lot of debris and metal and grit and stuff in there now that I've put it all together. And now into my spare time, I got this little 23 to work on here. Um, I, I kind of am using this one as a guinea pig to see what I can do to the drum to polish it up without doing something irreparable to the, to the one I really want to keep. I pulled the the Paul spring out of this one just to uh, so I had a spring in this one before I put it all together to replace that broken one. So and I've got another one of these in the garage to work on, but uh, this is this is the progress we've made so far. Well, I hope this shows up on the camera. Um, so I hit this real quick with just a, a wire a wire cup brush and uh it's it's pretty amazing to see what it looked like and just how you know not much effort at all um has polished this up quite a bit like i said i would put that on my boat no problem i intend to put it on my boat if i can um so i'm pretty impressed with that i think this is just hitting it with a wire brush i'm not sure what else i'll, I'll do to it but uh to get that transformation I'm pretty happy. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that uh, for a quick and dirty clean. We'll see what else we can do with it. Well, that's pretty cool. So uh, we took a, a winch that looked about like that one. This one's missing the, the line self tailor, but um, we just didn't put it on. But look at the drum and the just the way that thing looks <clears throat> it barely will turn uh, and I've reconditioned it and um, got it pretty shiny anyway 
still still going to do some more polishing, but I mean, I think that's that's pretty remarkable. So I'm ready to tear down the second one here and start doing all the cleaning and in, internal work on it next. I mean, just look at how bad <laughs> those gears are gunked up in there. I mean, that is some nastiness. The amazing thing is, once they're cleaned out, I mean, I can't even turn them right now, but <clears throat> they'll be a lot better once they're cleaned. 